Today, the State Department of Health shared some pretty shocking numbers with us to show how much the COVID vaccine protects Hoosiers. Your chance of ending up in the hospital with COVID if you're fully vaccinated is about one in 18,000. But if you're not vaccinated, your odds of being hospitalized are one in 237. I mean, that is a huge difference. So as students return to school, there's growing concern tonight for kids under the age of 12 because they can't get the vaccine. Tonight, doctors are telling us they are seeing more children end up in the hospital. As the Delta variant surges, pediatricians are seeing a flood of children in the ER. Doctors at Riley Hospital for Children witnessing it firsthand. If you look at the numbers that we've had over the last few days, the, the much higher uh, is probably what we would have seen over two or three weeks uh, back in January. Many of the patients are under 12 and not eligible for the shot, and the majority of cases aren't severe, but doctors warn they can be. The sad part is that some children are very sick and they have to be hospitalized. Some of them have to go to our intensive care unit. And sadly, when you look at our numbers nationwide, children have died of coronavirus. And it's not just happening in Indiana. Across the country, pediatric cases jumped 84%. COVID is also disrupting classrooms, with more than 100 local kids quarantined in the first few weeks. Dr. John Christensen says part of the reason is restrictions loosening, causing families to let their guard down. The prevention is in the hands of the parents and the adults and the people who can get vaccinated. Who can use masks in protecting the children? On top of COVID, doctors are also seeing an increase in RSV infections, a respiratory virus that makes breathing difficult. Usually they have zero cases in August, but last week they saw 20. We have an RSV season in the middle of August, which we've never seen in 21 years here. Doctors say the vaccine and masks are key to preventing this rise in young cases. Many parents wonder, okay, what can I do to protect my child? The best thing that they can do is to protect themselves.